Hi everyone. Um, I kid you not. In the like ten minutes right here before I came on, I literally scarfed down dinner. I everything gets later and later for me. But anyway, hi everyone. <sighs> Happy Friday Eve. I was gonna do spooky stream, but I. I'm just super behind on Genshin stuff. So here we are. I'm going to do a little Genshin um, today and tomorrow and then Sunday too because I just, I have a lot I needed to like get through. So oh, I scarfed that down so fast. I am so hi. Ain't no way. Hi, Blur Butt Nugget. No, you. <laughs> I. I'm like exhausted. And honestly, if I didn't have so much Genshin stuff to do, I probably wouldn't have streamed today. Or maybe I would have done spooky stream and not stream tomorrow. I'm so. We'll be tomorrow for sure. A nerd. A nerd. <sighs> I am so tired. Oh, tired, you mean. Uh, work at 5 a.m. Blur, go to sleep. Uh, I keep trying to go in early. I did successfully get in at 6 a.m. on Tuesday this week. Yeah. Have Pokemon orders? Oh, to ship. You have a bunch of orders to ship. A release for new Pokemon set. Does that mean you're going to go get the Pokemon set? What does that mean? Also, enjoy my new Cosmo fit, y'all. So I, it has to be like a year and a half ago now. I feel like I on um, what's that website? The one where you back people. Um, start start up. Frick, what is it called? Well, that one Kickstarter. Yes, on Kickstarter. I swear, like a year and a half ago or something, like not last January, but like the January before, I feel like I had backed this person that designed Kazawa, Shao, and um, Scaramouche, like clothing, like sweatpants and stuff. And I had ordered, I ordered one cream Kazuha set, one black, and then one Shao set. I think she only made black for Shao and for Scaramouche. But y'all know I don't care about Scaramouche, so I didn't get any of his stuff. But I ordered that, and then I I guess I had also ordered, like, some patches and stickers there. I should have brought them here. They're in the other room, but... um, So when I originally put the order in, this was, like I said, like a year and a half ago... Because this stuff was supposed to be here last September. Um, and it kept getting pushed and pushed. And now we're like a year from when we were supposed to originally get the stuff. But anyway. Um, 
I had ordered like XL, yeah, XL sizes. Now that I think about it, um, and I've lost a ton of weight. Um, so I like emailed her just before my stuff was gonna ship, and was like, "Hey, I don't know if you can do this, but I've lost a ton of weight. Can you send me medium?" And she did. She was able to. Um, and they they look very weird on me. I pro honestly, what I, I probably should have ordered the small. Not that I. I don't think I'm quite at the point of wearing the small yet, but I feel like I'm going to keep losing weight and it's, it's just going to be weird. Like these are kind of big on me. Like, like in terms of like, like, like look at the sleeve. But anyway, hi Barney. But this is the, the like, cause of black. All right, anyway. <laughs> it's cute. I don't usually wear sweats, but I just, I really liked the cause of gear. Uh, have to open 532 packs and list them. Blur gold. with sweats I like them they're quite comfy I wore the cream set yesterday just to try it on um it's it's kind of like warm right now so it's like not the right weather to be wearing sweats really yet um and yeah but anyway I'll have to wear the shao set maybe for tomorrow's stream or something I don't know um but yeah, there's like maple leaves all over it. Uh, the pants too. Love Kazuha. What about Unizuba? No, not Unizuba. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, let me start the game. Not the best husband, no. I want to hear One Republic because that's what I was listening to before. A dragon there. Oh my gosh. Hold on. All right. My body aches, by the way. Y'all, I have been like going to the gym every day. I'm going to go to the gym again tomorrow. I think. I'm debating if I'll go Saturday morning or not. Saturday is when I go on that wine corn maze date with my boyfriend and um, my family. But that's not till like the afternoon. So like I'm not, I'm not sure if I'll, I don't know. Maybe I'll go to the gym in the morning. We'll see. I haven't decided. But I, I'm like, I've started playing the game. Y'all can't even see it. All right. Let me pull an affirmation card. My body aches. My body aches so bad. So bad. Why does my body ache? It's not even, it's not even like the muscle soreness, which I do get. I do get muscle soreness. Don't get me wrong. Like, uh, today was leg day, so I won't really feel that until two days from now, really. But, um, I've been going consistently, so I don't really it's so bad it's not really all that sore but my back my back is so sore i hate my back rigs you rigged it unrigify it rigor us those don't even go together rigamaru that also doesn't go together Playfulness. We haven't got this one in a while. No, you. Playfulness. I'm a playful participant in life that I always have the option to make something a fun game rather than a heavy burden. Mary Poppins puts sugar in the medicine for a reason. That lady really knows how to party. Playfulness. And on that note, we're going to play this game. All right. <laughs> Over to Genshin. 
I, you can see I started playing. Uh, what is this? Is this the Kaneech event? I did already do this. I did already do this. Uh, I already did that too. This one was kind of cute. This web event was kind of cute. I'm a, I did it already. Why is it telling me to check it out? Okay. I already, I already did it. Um, I'm excited for Kaneech to come out next week. Uh, I watched his little character, uh, what is it called? Teaser trailer thingy or whatever. Uh, and it was cute. Um, I'm excited to see how he plays. Uh, yeah. I need to finish the story, y'all. I'm slack a lacking. Um, maybe that'll be part of today's agenda. Oh, yeah, there's a new event right now, too. I am super slack lacking. I literally feel like the exhaustion in my body right now. <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, I did the, I did do the, uh, okay, anyway. Neech get to grab grapple points in the air without one of the Pokemon. Yeah, I'm assuming that each of these characters that comes out for the tribes can do the thing that that creature can do. That's what Kachina has done. That's what, uh. Mulani has done right so I feel like he's going to have some sort of dendro tether move thingy I don't know I don't know how it'll work though I'm also curious to see the other three tribes creatures that they come with Kazua. Oh, here we, we get our Kazua quote of the day. Hold on. Don't worry. I got you all. Y'all ready for this? You're not ready. Don't worry. I got you. Ready? Ready? Clear weather all around brightens the heart. Aw. I do like clear weather. All right. There was our, there was our Kazua quote for the day. Daily dose of Kazuha. We love Kazuha. He's about to come off the banner, so all y'all that are that want a Kazuha, roll for him now. I want more Kazuha, but I have no wishes, so. <laughs> so, uh, I suffer. I don't even have his weapon. Anyway. I cry every day. <laughs> Thank you for permitting. Okay. What is on my agenda today? Let me take care of all of the usual stuff and then see. Um how much condensed resin do I have? Uh oh, I almost have five. Um the one thing that I did take care of yesterday, I finished the event weapon. So huzzah. I do need to finish Kachina's weapon, which I'm just missing this stuff. So I just need to go like farm it. Let's track this. Are beautiful I think I'm nearly prepped for Kaneech, maybe? I don't actually know what he needs. Actually, let's see if someone has the, excuse me, details. Um, I don't have the boss drops because I don't, I usually just wait for the character to come out to get those, but let's see. Oh, and also I probably don't have his talent books really farmed up. 
Yeah, it looks pretty simple because he needs like the saurian claws. Two purple XP books. Oh, is that what I have in my inventory? <laughs> Don't look. I oh, you know what? I do need to farm more XP books now that I think about it. Uh, I probably let me think. I need to probably talent book farm and the saurian claws. I probably don't really need to worry about. Um, and then the boss drop. I'll just wait for him to come out. But I probably do need more talent books. How's my mora? My mora is looking a little rough too. Oh, I do only have two. <laughs> you know, sometimes we live life on the edge. Uh, you know. <laughs> I see I have a good number of these. I'm not too worried. I do. I always need more of these. But this is what he'll need, so I'm not too pressed about that. And then uh, I think he needs these flowers. That, not that. I, I, I just had to stare at that for a second. This. So I need 30, a little bit more than 30, because I need to get to 165. Yeah, I live life on the edge. Uh, But I need, let's see, I need 34 more of these, which easy enough. So I'm not pressed to get that. I think his boss drop is the one that uh, Kachina needed. I have any more? Probably not. I think he needs early Kino drops. Uh, yeah, I don't have any more of the. I don't have any more of any of the Fontaine boss drops. And of course, he needs these, and I have plenty. So, uh, talent book. He'll need where are the talent book. This one, which I have some, but not a ton. So when is this up? Tuesday, Friday, Sunday. So maybe I'll run that tomorrow. Uh, maybe I just run the XP books today. Maybe I just run the XP books today. Uh, because yeah, I don't have many. Be sure to be friendly. I also should do some of my boss fights. I don't have I done any this week. Let's knock that out. Have I done any? Not me, not knowing. Keep clicking the wrong thing. Oh ship! I haven't done a single one of my weekly boss fights. All right, so I will also do some of that today because. Uh, oops. My body aches. Do a double ley line thing before 5.1, but that won't help you for Kanich, yeah. Chilin in though, right? That'll help for her. Who I feel like is only gonna is gonna be our only new character in the next patch since she's the only character they released on social media. Yay, I finished this. Uh, which one did I say I need? This one. Pretty sure she's only newbie. All for Shiloh. It's true. She gets all the resources I farm post pin each because, you know. Which, oh, how many resources here will I have? Not looking good. Not looking good. Because we, let's see. Mulani was like my last. Okay, I did five pulls since Mulani, I think. Yep. So I'm five toward building pity. And I have enough for 50 wishes. 50, 60. Okay, we'll say 70. So I probably have enough to hit pity by the time the patch comes out. Probably a little bit more than that, but... uh. Not looking good. I mean, not her. Uh, Kinich is next. Not looking good. 
Already farming for her? Or is that a lot of what you need isn't there yet? Yeah, I was going to say, a lot of newer characters when a region's like barely unlocked, you can't even get their stuff yet. I don't know, obviously, we couldn't pre-farm for Mulani or Kachina at all. Uh, let me do my dailies first, but let me grab this since it's right next to this teleport point. But you saying that tells me there's new areas coming with the next patch. Right, 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 right. Oh, hold on, I want this. Neutralize. The tide's beckoning. Got about 200 wishes saved to give her a take. Win for a coin flip wins so I can get her a weapon. Oh my gosh. Everyone. Prayers for Barney. Prayers for Barney. Prayers for me, too, while you're at it. Also saving for Mavuika. You know, I don't even know how you say her name, so wish me luck. <gasps> Hi, Kevin! Hi, Kevin. How are you? Craig. <laughs> Craig. <laughs> My body aches. They're so sore. We both doing good as well. I'm here. Which I don't know if that is a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm here. <laughs> Come here, orb. Alright, I hate fighting these two because they stay over here and just launch their attack. I kind of like Kachina's ground pound a million times. Sweaty as heck. Just got in from a bike ride. <gasps> Ooh. I miss riding bikes. Look at this. I got it. I look at I did, uh, you see a chest. Anyway, <laughs> let me go get it. Make that work in, Barney. Did you see anything cool in your bike ride? Vaporeon! Hmm. I see this here. And yet... Oh, I need to light this. Don't worry. Uh, but I do need to grab something to light this. Since I don't have a pyro in my party, let's do this. There we go. Huzzah. Oh, what happened? Why are they going? Where are we going? I guess we're climbing up this. Oh, I've been here already, but thank you. Look how cute. So cute. <gasps> Hold on, another chest. Don't worry, y'all. I'm only vaguely distracted. Which is to say, I'm pretty distracted. Internet ruin Vaporeon. Wait, why? 300 Mora and Treat Me. It's free if I beat you right! Stop! It's not how we normally do things. Did I run into a quest here? Super rigged! You all are... Don't want to know. 
Putin rigged. <laughs> what do you Price is set by the Soaring Relics Association. It cannot be negotiated. As far as I know, this is already the cheapest excavation site, as it's been open the longest. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you all mean? <laughs> but nowadays, we sometimes get dreamers like you who want to try their luck. After all, you never know. Maybe none of the hundreds and thousands of people who came before you had a good eye for treasure and missed a priceless relic that only looks ordinary dang 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 lady dang <laughs> she being so rude i make corpse how are you many would pay 300 mora for such a beautiful dream so how lucky are you feeling do you believe you'll be the one to strike it rich god barry My luck's never let me down. Good. We love to hear it. We love to hear it. <laughs> Feel like putting your luck to the test, Cadbury? He does. He definitely looks up for it. And what's three more anyway? Paimon can handle that. Oh, Paimon's paying. Paimon's paying, y'all. Being able to buy three rays of hope for that sum is kind of a steal, really. And I wish you all the best of luck. Oh, she up. There's a hole in the ground here. Okay. I wasn't trying to do this quest, so I'm going to, like, keep keep going. Uh, oh, look at this. I do need to fight this guy. Look at this. Pama never pays for anything. I know. It's amazing. She actually offered to pay for something? Unreal. Like I'm living in a dream. Forget it. Forget about it. Got four days to grind for Raiden and I'm not ready. You got this. I believe in you. You can do it. Plus, plus, plus you have the three weeks that she's on the banner that you can still grind, you know. You don't have to be done yet. Oh, not this random one that didn't join the fight earlier. All right, bud. I do need these drops pretty badly, though. Okay. I can't look. I keep getting distracted because I keep seeing more. Ah! <laughs> Talking about her artifacts. Oh. Well, you're going to grind a lifetime because artifact grinding sucks. You already have all her other stuff, though. That's pretty good. Plus, you can always give her decent artifacts and upgrade them later. Strong box. True. Yep, yep. Strong box is nice. Although, my luck with the strong box is like poo poo garbage, dog water, you know? Okay, we gotta. Where are all the. Where are all the things so I can light these? Do I just need a. Um... Hmm. I just need to take out a pyro character. I thought they put this here so that I could like light these, but I don't see a fruit thing nearby. All right, I'll just take out a pyro character, I guess. Rather sell my soul. <laughs> Be pretty rough in the strong box, but it's a good way to convert trash into potential treasure. That's true. That's true. Like, don't get me wrong. Worse than that is doing nothing, you know, 
with with those artifacts that suck, but uh Prepare to be amazed. Couldn't pay me to set foot in the emblem domain ever again. Honestly, it's not that bad. There's some domains I absolutely detest, like the ones in Mondstadt. The Hydro one. Yeah. The Cryo one is also pretty bad. Not that bad, but. Guess this will go into my magic pocket. I don't really even remember what you fight in that domain. Play my soul is the best option. Gotcha. I mean, the pleasure is all mine. You are playing Genshin. Kind of how it goes, you know. Look at this. Look at this ginormous cliff. All right, I found all the chests that I could like grab in like two seconds. All right. Let me keep doing my dailies. If you're not selling your soul for Genshin, what are you doing? Honestly. <laughs> are you really playing Genshin? Oh, look at that right there. Facts. Crazy out, basically. Live in this stream. I haven't joined the Discord. That's true. I don't think you have, have you? You're welcome to. Hey, calm down. On my face. <laughs> it's a very quiet Discord, like I said before. I don't really talk a lot in there, but you're welcome. I won't stop ya. Join us. <laughs> we like never say anything in there. Which is fine. Like I don't I don't care. I to throw the occasional meme in there and stuff. Oh, I'll probably have to let you in because I think it. I'll probably have to let you in. Since I changed it to that like community guild thing, I think it makes everyone put in an application now. Ooh. to put this I think you do unless it does it does it not make you I don't know if it does or doesn't if it does you can just submit it and then I'll just accept it but if it doesn't then don't I don't know yeah I think since I changed the thing to a guild it might make you do it it only has three questions on it It does help me keep bots out, which is nice. Show me your Oversight on my part. Neutralize. War is over. Why do I keep getting distracted? Like away from what I was trying to do. All right, what was I trying to do? My dailies. My dailies. Yeah. 
I love how there's just like random tribal warriors walking around and we're just, new. We just beat them. We just beat the crap out of them. Or they try to fight us. Why are we just fighting these random warriors out on the road? Like, calm down. I'm just trying to walk with their llamas. <gasps> Have you all gone up to the top of these? These little uh, floating aisles. so much resin. Oh. Hi everyone. What am I trying to do here? I have a daily that says be here. What is what is the commission? Is it something with the rings in the water? have Mulani. How would I have done this? In the zone, I'm in the zone. Auto zone. This is not a paid advertisement. <laughs> I did it. Oh, what is there? A Pokemon, hello. Hello, it's a Pupitar. All right. <laughs> Hydrate. All right, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Drink up. Agua, agua, agua. <laughs> fake corpse, not your tag being not fake corpse. <coughs> or your uh, name. Not <laughs> your answers. Paper car. Basically did all my quests. Got that area 97% with the dinosaur. Oh! Dang. Dang. Stop. <laughs> oh, that was... This wasn't even the daily! I thought that was the daily. Look, this is where the daily tells me to go. What is the daily? What did I come here for? Hello. I'm mad. <laughs> it's, it's blocked. Stupid. Salem's Lot comes out October 3rd. What's Salem's Lot? This guy wasn't here this whole time. Oh no, no, my pop music masterpiece is about to be consumed, devoured! Oh, this is... We've helped this guy before. 
this is the guy that makes music and all the kids are like, wow, I love your music. Okay. Yeah, we'll help him. Don't worry. I got you, buddy. Carving waves. Oh, why'd it throw me the water? My favorite horror novel, Salem's Lot. Not even a snap. Take the rope without consent. You should return it. Not done, done. Aw, you. You. Who does dailies anymore? Fake corpse! That's how you get primo gems! Primo gems! How am I gonna get my wishes if I don't do my dailies? Or you like horror novels? Lurk, why do we watch shows when you could just read me horror novels? Huh? Who's this customer? Huh? Who's this customer? Why did you do your attack that way, buddy? I love how they cannot swim. This is literally like the water tribe. And they can't swim, so if you knock them in the water, they just die. Oh, maybe we weren't supposed to break this stuff. Don't want to hear you scream at words. Oh, at words. <laughs> what do you mean? I wouldn't. Uh, don't have to do dailies if you just spend your resin. That's true, but there are achievements tied to dailies, so I do them. Lurk, you wouldn't even tell it scarily enough. I wouldn't be scared. Think about doing nails is usually the only way I can farm enemy mats. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, we get free mats for doing this stuff and all that jazz. Hello, sir. We broke your CD. All right, he didn't like it, but the Saurians liked it. Best of luck, homie G. <laughs> True. Do them baby voices. What do you mean, fake corpse? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> Hate the fetch quest dailies for that reason. No mats. True. True. Some dailies are kind of annoying. Oh, look! Friendship 10! Woo! I can yoink her for my friendship team. But she's quite powerful, so she wasn't like in a horrible place or anything, but yay! That was a little bit sooner than I expected. That's how you sounded. Baby voice. Can I do a baby voice? What does a baby sound like? All I can think of is crying. All right, hold on. Who are we gonna who are we gonna fill that slot with? Well, now I can do my weekly boss fights a little easier. Choosing someone else to fill. Let's fill a healer, maybe. Oh, but not Hakomi, my favorite hydro healer. We'll do. Oh, we can fill Dendro again. I'll treat your wounds. We'll we'll fill Dendro. Wah. Okay, but baby's crying is not like wah. Baby's crying is like screaming. <laughs> Horrible. Ears sad. <laughs> Mind the side effects. Uh, all right. Um, Haley's done. Let me turn those in. 
Hello, y'all. <laughs> I'm only a little bit tired. Thank you for coming. All right. Uh, what else did I say I needed to do today? Um, let me start kicking off some of my weekly boss fights. Hold on. My boyfriend sent me a picture of the dinner he made. He's such a good cook. the value in my own work but i also see the meaning in all the endeavors of the people of fontaine i believe i will continue to take pride in fulfilling my duties what did i miss he's good in the kitchen kitchen skills are better than ninja skills <laughs> what <do you> mean? <laughs> hold on everyone fake corpse said hello Hold on, don't worry, I got I got the perfect reply. I lied, I don't. I lied, I do. It was a terrible response, but I put it in anyway. It's like one of the talk top gifts of the day. Time to begin work? Time to begin work? I wonder what role Kanich is going to serve on a team. Like a main DPS or like a sub DPS? I don't like how I do this boss fight every week. Or why? <laughs> it's supposed to be the other way around. I'm taller than you! How do you know? How do you know? Square up. <laughs> Alright. We're just cycling. We're doing, I'll do four of the boss fights. For this week we're already on thursday and i've done none so you know we gotta gotta get moving perhaps we could take a walk by moving and shaking somewhere similarly fluvial who do i use in this fight now i know i changed my team recently i think i use this Only short people say square up like that. What do you mean? <laughs> After that? I'm really an angry one. <laughs> yeah, like an angry one. Yeah, that's it's spicy. Full of anger. <laughs> That one might burn a hole in your pocket. Literally. Oh, my voice! <laughs> Don't be a hater. 
later. <laughs> I'll have you know, people like spicy kisses. I think. The tide beckons. Bow your head. Darn it. My favorite thing was that one time we killed him in this cutscene and he just like fades from existence <laughs> during it. A in my I think. I do think. I think, therefore I am. Cogito. Here goes some. There y'all go. There's a little Latin for you today. A little Latin for you today. All right, let me do uh, the leeway boss fights too. And then uh, let me burn my condensed resin after that. Deeply saddened, I asked my boyfriend a question he did not answer. <laughs> Think you're short? What? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, I got y'all. I accidentally clicked on the web event on my thing. I got you all. Um, <laughs> I'm five, six, but the money make me six, five. They all go. <laughs> all right. Back to the game. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's probably good enough. We'll run that. Oh, he did answer me. Take it back, y'all. Good man. He's a good man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um I'm so tired. <laughs> okay. I really really want to get through this story, but I don't know how long I'm going to last. And my body is so sore. I want to go to the gym again tomorrow, but I Every day after work, y'all. I <laughs> contemplate my life decisions. Like I could just I could just go home. Cause I pack my gym bag and I'm like, I'm gonna go to the gym. I just you know, I could just go home. And just not not go to the gym. I just not go to the gym. And yet I I go. <laughs> I I think I saw someone from work. He's like newer in my flight. Um, two days ago, actually. Okay, actually, 
when I'm at the gym, y'all, I am like super focused mode. Like I don't pay it. If you're at the gym and you see me, I probably am not paying attention. Like I just, I, my, my earbuds are in, like I'm not, I'm, I'm somewhere else. Like I'm not. Anyway, the point is <laughs> today, uh, this, this newer guy in the office came to my desk and was like, hey, how was your workout? And I was like, uh, good. I don't, I don't know what to say. I was like, what? He was like, yeah, I saw you at the gym. And I was like, oh, yeah, my bad. I like, I'm not, my brain is like, I don't, he's like, yeah, you were super focused. It's cool. I was like, my bad. I literally hope I never see people I know at the gym because I will ignore them. Not really intentionally. Like I just, I'm, I'm not, I'm not there. I'm somewhere else. If y'all ever see me at the gym, I'm somewhere else. <laughs> I like, I, I, I do actually see people that I know at the gym and like recognize, so I'll wave at them, but I just, uh, I kid you all not, I am like, so, I put my music on, I'm like, really what I should do is like, listen to like, an audiobook or something so I can like do more than just like listen to music, but I just, it like puts me in the zone, I'm in the zone, auto zone, that was the second time I said that today, alright y'all, <laughs> okay, Hold on, let me reply. Help. Where is the emoji I want? I see the value in my own work, but I also see the meaning in all the endeavors of the people of Fontaine. I believe I will continue to take pride Don't worry, in fulfilling I my can duties. Do this. I'm using this new messenger app. Oh, way to conquer your inner. <laughs> Still go. Thank you. Thank you. I, uh, you know, I have to remind myself good job every day after I choose to go to the gym, even though I said I didn't want to. It's funny because, like, here's, here's the, like, here's how the, here's the gym. <laughs> here's how the gym works. Like, so I, I pack my gym bag. And I'll put it out so that I can take it in the morning and I'll put it in my car. And then I go to work. And then when I leave work, I get in my car. And to go to the gym, um, there's two like separate areas of the base here. To go to the gym, I exit like where I am, exit a gate from the from the base area that I'm at. The gym's on the other area. And so I then I get on this highway. And I'm on this highway and my exit to like my apartment is like the first exit. Melusines are beautiful right? creatures. So and then the exit to the other gym is like I don't know, like six exits away. Maybe not that many, but like it's it's quite a few exits away. And every time I get to that first exit, I'm like, I can just go home. <laughs> Save the save the gym bag for another day. And I've been I've been doing a good job and going work out in Area B. I do. I do. That's the biggest gym on base. Uh, which is kind of nice. Oh my gosh. My back. Oh my gosh. It cracked really bad. My back. <laughs> my back hurts. <laughs> okay. 
Um, yep. If anyone's trying to work out, let me know. Actually, the other day, someone at work was like, so there's this one guy who I see at the gym a lot, and he's like, yeah, bro, if you get it, do your thing. Like, thank you. Look at me. <laughs> um, and so he, he said something to me, and then this other guy in the office was like, oh, you lifting weights? And I was like, oh, yeah, I and I just use the machines. He's like, you, could, you should go with the gym, buddy. You'll get through your workouts faster. I'm like, I don't know. I just get on the machines and zone out. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I don't know, man. I see the people doing like the benches and stuff. And actually, my team, I was talking to my team lead. Look at, look at my brain is like a million places at once. I was talking to my team lead today. Uh, he went to the gym this morning, so he came in a little bit later. Um, and uh, he was like, yeah, it's nice to do the benches because like then you can like drop the weights and like be like yeah and i'm like no nah, it's all right i just do the little machines and i can track my like my weights all the time uh i have been working on upping my weights on like all of the machines that i that i do lately uh when i when i try to transition up in like how much i do i um i take the like machine so i do four I do four sets of 10 reps on all the machines I do. And what I usually try to do is when I'm trying to like wait up, I do it with like in five pound increments. And what I'll do is I'll do two sets with my original weight and then two sets with the, the upped weight. And then like once I feel like that's good, I'll just switch to that new weight. And I've so a couple of the exercises I do, I've already switched. Anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you all my workouts and stuff, but there y'all go. There's fun workout stuff. Um, I can't, I can't envision me like working out on a bench. Maybe with like little dumbbells. I definitely could not see myself with like a big old barbell or like deadlifts or whatever. I can't envision doing that. Not because I am like afraid. I just like, I don't. I feel like that isn't, I don't know. I feel like that would really hurt my body. Like a lot. This in a not, in not, in a not good way. <laughs> would not be a good experience. I promise I'll be gentle. Anyway, if y'all work out in Area B gym, hit me up. No, I'm just kidding. Don't hit me up. I'm like so focused. I will probably not even notice that you're trying to get my attention. I would tell you all how many people I've ignored in the gym, but I don't know because I, I literally, how would I know that I ignored someone because I like, I'm like focused. <laughs> I guess I have one example of that guy from work who was like, how was your workout? And I was like, oh shit, I didn't even know anyone saw me working out. I love how I opened this menu on accident. All right. Fellow gym goer, like hearing other people's systems after years transitioning from machines to mix in more free weights because of my trainer. Ooh. Yeah, it's very interesting to hear different people's like routines. I got y'all. Here's my, I have my whole routine mapped out. Ready? Here. I use this app called Strong to track my workouts so my actual workout time like on the machines and everything is usually one hour and 35 40 minutes usually um that's both for arm day and leg day upper body day and lower body day right because uh i try to keep the days kind of even in time 
today was lower body day. And so I just rotate those. So tomorrow I'll do upper body day. Um, but my <laughs> here's how the app tracks. The app says that I did 47,150 pounds of weights today. And for upper, it was 24,700. That's really because legs are long. Like, that's a lot more weight. But that is funny because it's like nearly half. Uh, anyway. So, okay, ready? ready here's my, my, uh, my upper body workout. And I mix up the order of these because like I do it based on what's busy. And I usually target the like more actively busy exercises first but i do reverse flies oh my gosh wait i don't even have the weights list in here okay ready y'all ready ready take take note no i'm just kidding these are i i make up my workouts so they're probably really not all that good but i do the reverse fly 55 pounds this one this one and then i do the chest fly like the front one, like this. Oh, I just showed you all different, but the, the reverse fly is the back one and the chest fly is the forward one. And that one, I also do it 55, but I'm working on upping that to 60. And then I, uh, I do chest press 50 pounds, but I'm upping that one to 55. Um, bicep curls, that one's at 55. Um, but any machine that like you can like you can do it with like both arms or both legs I try to do both at the same time if I can so like when I say 55 on the bicep curl it's really like split between the two arms but anyway and then tricep push downs which I do at 100 but I'm working on 105 now shoulder press which I do at 30 I'm working on 35 I hate shoulders. Shoulders are tough. There was this machine, the lateral raise, that I used to try to do, and I, I like hated it. I took that out of my rotation. I just couldn't stand it. Also, it was like really. Some of these machines are really uncomfortable for me to do. I think because I'm so short. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, the seated rows I do at sixty pounds. The lat pull downs, I do 55, but I'm working on upping to 60. And then on upper body day, I also do back extensions at 145. Back extensions are kind of tough. My, my back always hurts, so, you know. And then I every, every workout, I do elliptical at the end for 20 minutes. And I try, like, my ultimate goal is to make sure I do two mile over two miles in that 20 minutes on the machine uh, lately i've been working on trying to get to like 2.2 .2 miles um but that's pretty tough for me to do so i've on average probably been doing like 2.1517 ish right now but and then here's lower body today which is what i did today hip abductors at 160 pounds that's the one where you um are pushing your like knees outward which i think it works for glutes um and then i did glute kickbacks which that one you can only do one side at a time so i do my left leg and then my right leg at 100 and then standing calf raises i just upped that I do 200 for those. Leg extensions, I do 65. Those ones are pretty good. Those ones, are, I just upped those to 65. The seated leg press, which my favorite thing about the seated leg press, I've told you all this story, but one time I, I do a lot of weight on my seated leg press. One time <laughs> there was this guy that walked by <laughs> And he looked at how much weight I was doing, and he was like, damn. <laughs> like, I have my earbuds in, but I heard him. <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, two, I do that one at 240. I'm probably pretty close to being able to up that. The, the tough part about that one is that one really gets my heart rate going. <laughs> um, seated leg curl, which I'm at 60, working on 65. The hip adductor, which is the like one where you're pushing your knees in. I'm at 165 trying to get to 170. And then I did some back extensions today because I was waiting for someone to get off the seated calf raise. But I do the seated calf raise, which I'm at 145 trying to get to 150. I did 2.16 miles on the elliptical today. But anyway, those are my workouts. Can max out seated leg press machine. I'm trying to get there, but I think I'm... Let me think. I think it maxes at 320. No, 330, because I, I think it's 320, and you can bring down 5 pounds, 10 pounds. So I think it maxes at 330. So I'm still, still ways away on that one. I probably could do a single rep of, like, the heaviest, but... I'd probably like kill myself trying to do 40 reps. But that's the goal. That's the goal. Um, do you have one of the ones that you can put the 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 like weights on? We have one of those at our at this gym. Like we have the one that is just the machine and you just like I said, I think go up to like 330. But there's also the like like laying down one that you can put that you can rack the weights on to. I don't know what the max would be for that one. Because, like, I don't know the max amount of weight you could put on that. I haven't really looked. I don't use any of the ones where you have to, like, rack your own weights on it. They have a bunch of those machines. But I just, I don't bother with them. Because I already have this system going. <gasps> I got the alert. I got to do my, hold on. I got to do my daily check-ins. Do y'all want to hear Kazwa's Co voice line change? Do y'all want to hear? It's the sleepy one now. I think. Wait, y'all ready? Wait. I think it's the sleepy one now. The wind has ceased. The world is silent. So now is the best time to rest well. See you tomorrow. We love uh, Kazwa. Sleepy time quote. All right. Hold on. I gotta do all my daily check ins. Ready? We're gonna hear the little mail come in. Apparently, I missed a couple check ins this month. I don't remember that. Because I like swear I do these every day, but apparently, I missed one. Hold on. We're gonna, I'm gonna get two letters because I'm gonna. Do the makeup. Oh, I'm in the menu, so <laughs> we didn't get the sound, but there it is. Oh, wait, I think I did the makeup yesterday. Yeah, I already did the makeup. Never mind. I take it back. Oh, excuse me. Like, day's pretty damn good. A lot of stuff isn't behind mine. Do the abductor at 160. One set of my 10 reps before going up. Like, press goes to 400. You can hang up to 45 pound plates on it, too. Whoa. 400. I see the value. Couldn't be me. I. So it's interesting that I can do so much on the, like, you did like press versus like the leg extension and the like seated leg curl both work like the same muscles but i can't do nearly as much the hip abductor wait is that the right one the one where you're pushing your knees in that one is like my bread and butter that's the one where that lady looked at my weights this was this was like 30 pounds ago like 30 pounds on the machine ago. So I was doing a lot less. And she looked over and she was like, oh, wow. You're my inspiration or something. She was like, you could crack walnuts. <laughs> it's 
like, oh my god. 200 for reps on the leg extension. Yeah, see, I can't. Like, I, I don't... I don't know why I can do so much on the leg, the seated leg press, but the, like the other ones that use like the same muscles, I just, I can't, but it's like stuff's translate to the lower back too. I don't think I do any lower back workouts on my lower body day. Actually, I think my only lower back workouts I actually do on my upper body day, like the, I do the back extensions on my upper body day which covers like that the closest to my back I get I think on leg day are the the like exercises that work the glutes I think use lift focus almost solely on arm and upper body <laughs> are you one of those guys that skips leg day <laughs> it is so fun I don't know who I was talking to but someone was talking about that the other day they were like yeah, they're those guys that skip leg day. You can tell. I'm like, what does that even mean? He was like, never skip leg day. I was like, what? He's like, you've seen those guys that just have big arms but scrawny legs? I'm like, I don't I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, like, pretty hard. Barely notice it doing anything for my lower back. Skip leg day because I bike. Oh, yeah, 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 that's fair. That's fair. Uh, yeah, I don't. I well, okay. The good thing about the machines, they actually show you what muscles you work. So I think the only machines I do that actually work the lower back. So the back extension definitely does. That's hitting like the very base of the spine area. Um, and then I think. The lat pull down works. I don't know what the muscle's called. This back muscle, the lower back muscle, well, actually the whole back. The rows also works upper back and the lower back, I think. Um, and then the reverse fly works the upper back. I think that's it. I think those are the only exercises I do that work the back. So I don't think any of my lower body day does any back now that I think about it I don't know wish my back didn't hurt so much <laughs> all right all uh did I open the mail already uh okay what was I doing ah uh, you know I wanted to get through Archon Quest stuff I I will but I I think there's an event now that I has come out how long on this 10 days it's probably not all out yet then so I probably don't need to do it but let me at least go unlock it oops I did not mean to teleport to the theater all right well I think like these would help back by default got nothing to base that on outside of starting legs being attached to a back Uh, I don't know. I look at all the muscles on the machines, like like what they say they're supposed to work. And none of the lower body day ones I do uh, work any of the back muscles, according to them. A lot of them do work the glutes. Like the leg, the seated leg press works the glutes. The uh, glute kickbacks works the glutes. The hip adductor, the one where you push the knees outward does. That might be it. One of the, the seated leg curl might do. That's as close to the back as they say they help, I, I think. Where am I going? I like lost. Woo. Come on, Phonia. Come on. <laughs> Don't you want to be the first player to ever experience the marvel that is Dodoko's boombastic escapades? 
Go on, you know you want to. An all new combat mode that's more flexible than ever before, allowing you to not only achieve pinpoint precise demolition, but also outsmart crafty enemies while you're at it. How could that not be an absolute blast? You know what's interesting about their armor is like, this looks like it's maybe metal, right? And then they just have a skirt. I hope there's like plate underneath the skirt because. How about no, just because you spend all day fantasizing about bombs doesn't mean the rest of us do too. Heck, helping you out by getting the prototype and tabletops game up and running already counts as some serious overtime. All I want to do now is order some takeout from the Good Hunter, then return to the comfort of my humble abode. By the time it arrives, I'll have just finished the last laundry, and it'll finally be time to kick back and relax. As for this new boom shaka locking game of yours, well, next time we're on shift together, I might give it a go. If I'm already bored out of my mind, what harm could it do anyway? Did you just say the words new and game together in the same sentence? I was curious now. Could we take a look? Wait a minute, is that you honorary knight? And their helper in white? If you're actually here, what are the chances? I remember now. You're the boomaholic. You know who I am, honorary knight? I must really have left an impression during Annihilate the Invasive Anglers. Even you've heard about me. Uh, I promise I won't let you down. Recently, I've been making ongoing improvements to the formula and design of my bombs, striving to narrow the gap between me and the Spark Knight, bit by bit, boom by boom. Anyway, after the previous operation, Emma Toll concluded that relying solely on long-distance bomb deployment had considerable tactical shortcomings and wasn't effective enough at dealing with certain types of obstacles and cover. So she began experimenting with some new equipment to test it out. We even made some improvements to the Spark Knight's beloved tabletop game. That's right, and in recent days after analyzing Spark Knight's combat strategy, I've come up with another way to use the bombs. If we were the Spark Knight, the solution would probably be, if a single bomb's worth of explosions, explosives isn't enough, use three. If a lone dump, jumpy dumpty can't solve the issue, throw three. And yes, increased firepower is a surefire way to solve the problem. Oh my gosh. Some of these, like, side events... Just have some bizarre storylines anyway. But for the run of the mill knights like us, that just isn't an option. We simply can't compete with the spark knights, jumpy dumpties and their boom factor. So we've focused on improving flexibility and accuracy to make up the lack of power. Our thinking was that if we could create something that could track targets and get close enough to lay down bombs, we could strike dangerous targets with pinpoint accuracy and thereby maximize the load. Tracking enemies and laying down bombs sounds pretty impressive, but also kind of scary. If Paima were a hilly churl chasing down a forest boar with her hilly churl buddies, and suddenly a little thingamajig popped out of nowhere and threw a bomb in her faces, she'd probably be so terrified she'd faint. That actually sounds pretty cool. You're spot on. The fact that it would be so terrifying to monsters and enemies simply proves how useful it would be to us. The Knights of Phonius and upstanding adventurers, too. But this new device is still in the early stage of testing. It takes some time before it's ready for official production and use. I'll give it everything I've got. Given that conducting experiments in the wild would harm Mondstadt's natural ecosystem, and how this isn't important enough to justify us bothering Captain Albedo, it wasn't worth the trouble of applying for a testing ground. After Ebba Toll asked for my advice, we settled on a small-scale simulation prototype to test the controls and explosive capabilities just so happened that we thought of an old tabletop game that would make the perfect foundation for such testing. So Matul dragged me off to find Lisa. And thank goodness we did with Lisa's enthusiastic support, advice, and even some help with the storyline. The end result is amazing. Ta-da, behold, here on this game table before your very eyes, the much-awaited sequel to Dodoko's bombastic adventure, Dodoko's bombastic escapades. After mastering the art of close-range demolition, Dodoko and her special jumpy dumpties are back with an explosively volatile vengeance, here to follow our commands and obliterate hordes of resurgent enemies. I do remember this 
event from before. I was like, which one is this? The one where you throw the bombs and explode them. Bear witness to an epic battle of wits against Dodoko and the Spiky Fish King. And as you do, immerse yourself in intense action and joyous destruction while helping us record valuable test data for our new device, of course. Wow, so that's the game you've been working on, huh, Emmatol? The latest installment in the Dodoko vs. Spiky Fish saga. Seems like the Honorary Knight and the Helper in White are pretty excited about Emmatol. Their feedback will no doubt prove invaluable. I can tell. If they'd be willing to spend some of their precious time playing, I'd be eternally grateful. You're not forgetting someone, are you? Given that it's a follow-up to the Dodoko vs. Spiky Fish story, wouldn't the Spark Knight herself be the most suitable game tester of all? Uh, well, considering that Dodoko features in the new game, that would of course be a true honor, but I wanted to make sure that Dodoko's bombastic escapades is as incredible an experience as possible, with as few flaws as is humanly possible, such that by the time the Spark Knight gets a chance to play it, of course you caught it. Rigged, ain't no way! Lurg, ain't no way! <laughs> Five months got it. You're saying that this time we'll have multiple roles. Not only are we helping you test out your new device, but we're also acting as game testers, making sure that Klee will love it. The name of Klee and fun games too. Wait, Lurk, you want to fight? Wonderful. I'd say we're getting on like an exploding house on fire. Wouldn't you agree? Girl, what? Just the thought of watching you guys play gets me so pumped right now. Anyway, let's get the show on the road. All right, I'm not even going to read this. Wish me luck. W wish me luck. It, there was a lot there. How much of this is unlocked now? All right, so this will unlock not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow. So uh, Saturday, everything will be unlocked theoretically. So probably Sunday I'll finish this whole event. Let me go ahead and start it, I guess. Actually, you know what? I'll do one level, but I should really get on to. I didn't read anything, so wish me luck. actually blow it up oh I'm supposed to right click Oh, I just hurt myself. Okay, I done messed up everything here. All right, I just keep like killing myself. Can I run out of these or no? Maybe I should have paid attention in school. Huh? Just like blowing everything up now. These not run out because I'm just gonna blow everything up. Go back to school in October? Really? You excited? Oh, 
Okay, now I know what we're doing. But I'm not gonna play anymore right now. Take an accounting class. What? Accounting? Just accounting? Uh, I need to burn my condensed resin, right? Let me do... Yes. Just accounting. All right, you pay for it. That's fair. How many classes do you need to take? So it's free. That's fair. How many classes do you need to take? Wait, I need, I need, I need level up books. Need level up books. Get a certificate at the end. That's all I know. Oh. At the end of, like, each class. At the end of each class. Interesting. You'll be a certified accountant. <laughs> you do all my accounting for me. Just one for two months. Oh, gotcha. Two minute class certificate at the end. Certified account class taker, <laughs> achiever, succeeder. Remember, help comes first. Silence. I'm so tired. I would love to get three hours through this out of the stream though. I don't know if I'm gonna make it that long. Are you gonna take a class every time you finish one? Yeah, more certificates blurred from Target. Paying for it. 
Don't really get it. Is Mulani's story quest sort of just rolled into the Archon quest? Good qu I was actually just thinking about that today. Uh, where is it? Oh, not this. Oh, not this either. Oh, I've done one of these. They're not really two separate things. I was kind of thinking about that earlier, too. Probably take investing class next. Ooh. For your Pokemon investing. <laughs> I have no idea how it works, to be honest. And I, with Barney, I gotta be real. You probably know more than me. You know why? Because I'm a slack a lacking. Super, so what the heck? I didn't even see that guy sneak up on me. Uh, I am super behind. I haven't even finished act one of the Archon quest. I need to go back and do that. I think today, what I'm gonna do with this last hour, if I can survive an hour, is um one of the reputation quests for one of the I haven't done yet. Maybe supply chain and logistics class. Oh, are you trying to become like a manager? A manager? Black and two. <laughs> Investing would be a good skill to learn. I would learn how to do wisely. <laughs> Gonna be me. Gonna be me. Everyone has all these like smart investment ideas and stuff, and I'm like, I invest in nothing but like myself and my family or friends or whatever. I'd like to. <laughs> What if you take the investment class and it's like, here is an example of a bad investment and they just show Pokemon cards. Silence. <laughs> All right, that's all my condensed resin, but since I'm near this, let me go ahead and run this uh, ley line with the rest of my resin. I'll cry into my Team Rocket cases. <laughs> oh, there is a Pokemon. Oh, I did try to catch it, lol. Oh, oh! Look, there's a chest out there. Right, I say as I. A turn for the Let the be Look at this fight. That guy is not even coming over here. You want to fight, buddy? You gotta come over here, cause I ain't going over there. Oh, it, it did come over here. I accidentally did this yesterday. I think I ran some ley lines yesterday or something, and I um. Accidentally trigger this fight when I was doing this ley line. A bitter pill to swallow. Uh, uh, settle down. Check this out. Thermanitan escaped. Prepare for trouble. Lurg, you are trouble. With a capital T. <laughs> Did 
know you. I thought I'd done this one before, but I guess not. Oh, it's an honor to be. Trying to see what tells me which I'm supposed to go for. What's the order here? This one not light. Oh. And well, anyway, there I solved it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so tired. I was like, I want to stream another hour. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I am I'm on the brink. No, I'm not trying to fight. I'm just trying to collect these drops. What is this? I need to be Kachina. There we go. Go bed. I am in bed. Look at me. <laughs> Where is the tiki me? Okay. Let the record show I was very concerned there for a second. Relinquishing these items into your position. You're the one that has to be at work at five in the morning. You. You. Nami, uh, not knowing what that was before I came out to do it. survived like two hours i'm so tired Ugh. hopefully i get good enough sleep tonight so i can stream more tomorrow because i like i said i'm super behind on all the genshin stuff i need to do i forgot to hit trees in natlin again all right y'all let's switch over yeah i'm so tired I'm so tired. This is what I get. All right. Let me see who's streaming right now. So we can at least. Do a Don't forget to claim your Twitch drops, by the way. The Twitch drop event is about to end. When Kenich comes out. No spooky. I know. No spooky this week. I just. I have too much Genshin stuff to do. 
But I'll be back on it next week. Uh, let's see. Where are all our Genshin Impact friendies? Here's someone I think we raided a long time ago. I don't really remember them, but we can raid them. When's Baldur's Gate 3? I know. I know. I've been putting that one off so bad, too. I think... If I can, like, get through some more of this Nalan stuff, we'll go back to more Baldur's Gate 3. Let Neon know he's taking a backseat to some Genshin loser. <laughs> Listen here. Listen here. Been slacking on Baldur's Gate 3, too. Yeah, I've, I've been thinking about it a lot lately because I'm like, man, I had that one tough fight I didn't do. Listening. Okay. You're listening. You're listening good. Okay. Hello. Um. Chicken butt. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> we'll raid this person. I'm pretty sure I've raided them a long time ago. Um, I don't really remember them well, but we'll see. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> Closing affirmation card is it's a bonus card. Strength. You are hereby declared a strong, resilient warrior of heroic proportions. Enjoy your battles, whatever they are, because you're guaranteed to come through them stronger, brighter, and more compassionate. And based on what I know of mythology, probably with great hair and a six pack. Strength. <laughs> Thanks for some take care. Thanks, Barney. Thank you all for being here. Sorry, I'm so tired. Sorry, I'm so tired. <laughs> no, you. Sorry, I'm so tired, y'all. Sleepy, sleepy. Um, but I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, no spooky stream this week. I'm sorry. I just have too much Genshin stuff to do. Um, but I'll be here with more Genshin tomorrow. Um, I won't be here Saturday, but I will be here Sunday for hopefully what I can finish out before Kanich comes out. Um, because, yeah. Let's raid Amori. I remember raiding him before. I just don't really remember him that well. So hopefully it's a good enough stream. Um, but like I said, make sure you claim your Twitch drops. The Twitch drop event's ending. Kenichi the Mightiest Disciple. Who is Kenichi? No. <laughs> All right, y'all. My body aches. All right. <laughs> good night, y'all. Good night, good night, good night. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, yay. Good night, good night, good night. Bye.